Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Gulfstream intros two old new business jets, also Star Trek legend is heading to space, and balloon trips to the stratosphere soon to be a reality. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Gulfstream intros two old new business jets. Gulfstream has taken their wraps off two old new aircraft, the Gulfstream G-800, the longest range aircraft in Gulfstream history, and the Gulfstream G-400, an airplane they called the first new entrant to the large-scale cabin class in more than a decade. The G-800 offers customers the long range in the Gulfstream fleet with its 8,000 nautical miles range at Mach 0.85 and 7,000 nautical mile range at Mach 0.90. The G-800 is powered by Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines and features the Gulfstream designed wing and winglet introduced on the Gulfstream G-700. The G-800 is designed to seat up to 19 passengers and offers up to four living areas or three living areas with a crew compartment. It also features the signature Gulfstream cabin experience with 100% fresh, never recirculated air, whisper quiet noise levels, industry-leading low cabin altitude, and 16 Gulfstream panoramic oval windows. The all-new G400 offers a combination of long-range, high-speed performance, cabin comfort, and environmental efficiency unrivaled in its class. The G400 reduces fuel consumption, emissions, and noise through its use of Gulfstream's aerodynamic clean wing design and Pratt & Whitney PWA-12GA engines. The aircraft will fly 4,200 nautical miles at its long-range cruise speed of Mach 0.85. Three floor plans are offered with options of seating up to 9, 11, or 12 passengers. After the break, a suspect pleads guilty for laser strike on aircrew. Those details after these messages. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Flight Safety Foundation urges digital health certification rollout. The Flight Safety Foundation released a call upon the aviation industry, regulators, and health departments to implement digital health certificates, sometimes referred to as health passports or vaccine passes, to ease travel and speed economic recovery. They believe that digital certification of COVID-19 vaccination or testing could be rolled out and in widespread use within the next 12 months. A grown man pleads guilty of being a moron for 2016 laser strike. 
A Port Angeles area man pleaded guilty for aiming a laser pointer at a Coast Guard air crew in 2016. Randall Muck, who's 35 years old, pleaded guilty to the lesser offense of assault on a federal officer. Muck was sentenced to 90 days of home confinement with electronic monitoring, one year of probation, and a $1,000 fine. Muck illuminated an MH-65 Dolphin rescue helicopter crew with a green laser light while the air crew was on final approach to Air Station Port Angeles on September 26 of 2016. FAA invests millions of dollars in airport infrastructure. The FAA awarded over $479 million in infrastructure grants to 123 projects in airports across all 50 states and U.S. territories. In the release, the Transportation Secretary said these grants will help strengthen our country's airports and the communities they serve by making investments that create jobs and increase safety, sustainability, and accessibility. GoGo announces membership program for Avance. GoGo Business Aviation released its new premium membership program geared towards enhancing the protections, pricing, and warranty for users of their advanced and classic ATG in-flight connectivity systems for $5,000 per year. With a three-year service commitment, Smart Shield provides a number of benefits for operators looking to maintain optimum performance of their GoGo systems. The program brings fixed service pricing, monthly rollover of unused data, and annual overage forgiveness, expedited shipping, and a 50% discount on field service engineer charges, free annual online training, and a full warranty. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. We are finally able to confirm the rumors. Star Trek actor is heading to space. William Shatner, star of classic spacefaring series Star Trek, is the newest addition to Blue Origins and has a teen flight set to launch on October 12th. This comes on the heels of its first successful manned space flight in July, which brought four astronauts on an 11-minute voyage over 300,000 feet. Chatner is joined by Audrey Powers, longtime employee and overseer of Blue Origins flight operations. The occasion has been well received by fans of space travel, science fiction, and pop culture, given Shatner's notoriety. His depiction of the fictional Captain James T. Kirk began in 1966 and has spanned a lifetime of work within the Star Trek franchise. News that he will finally be heading to space has excited many in the aviation and engineering communities, with well-wishers sharing their congratulations on his Twitter account. He addressed rumors of his flight status on Twitter after speculation placed him as a very likely candidate for the next launch aboard New Shepard. So now I can say something. Yes, it's true. I'm going to be a rocket man. When he takes flight, he will have a chance to become the oldest person to have flown in space. After these messages, balloon trips to the stratosphere will soon be available. I'll have those details after the break. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. 
Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. How would you like to check out the Stratosphere in style? Well, in 2024, balloon trips taking you there are set to begin. As the newest iteration of the space race heats up between competing high-altitude tourism companies, the unorthodox worldview is offering tickets to the stratosphere in a balloon. Worldview believes passengers want more time in the air and design the best room with a view one could ask for. After completing more than 100 unmanned flights for research and commercial customers, the Tucson company intends to offer flights up to 100,000 feet from seven tourist destinations across the globe, featuring takeoff locations in the Grand Canyon, the Serengeti, Amazonia, the Pyramids, the Great Wall of China, and a Norwegian spot perfect for viewing the Aurora Borealis. Eight passengers will join two crew members in a pressurized space capsule suspended by a zero-pressure stratospheric balloon. Flights will last far longer than similar voyages, as liftoff takes place in the calm early morning winds and returns approximately 12 hours later. The trip aboard seems comfortable, with meal service, custom seating, and a wide panoramic view inside proprietary Explorer capsule. Equipped with plentiful creative comforts, with a concierge, dining and bar, data connection, earth view cameras, and star view telescopes, viewing screens, climate control, and enough walking space to keep passengers happy as they are brought skyward by the stadium-sized balloon above. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.